In this video, we are going to have a look at how rate can be connected to financial maths by having a look at exchange rates. An exchange rate gives the ratio between two different currencies. It is called a rate because these currencies have different units. Let's start with an example immediately. If one pound is equal to 18 rand 47, determine how many rands you will need to get 120 pounds. An exchange rate always compares one of a specific currency with another currency. And in our case, that is one pound to rands. To determine how many rands we need to get 120 pounds, we need to pay 120 times one pound, which means 120 times 18 rand 47. And this will give us 2,216 rand and 14 cents needed to get 120 pounds. Question B. Determine how many pounds you will get for 450 rand. This time we need to figure out how many groups of 18 rand 47 we can get out of 450 rand and that will give us our number of pounds. So we will take 450 rand and divide it by 18 rand 47 and this means that 450 rand will give you 24 pounds and 36 cents. From these two examples you could see that when you receive information about the currency that is given as 1 in the rate you will always multiply and when you are given information about the currency on the other side you will always divide. The following exchange rates are given. Dollar to Euro and Dollar to Rand. If a specific cell phone costs 5,600 Rand, how much would the phone cost in dollars? We are going to focus on our second exchange rate and we are given the value of 5,600 Rand. Therefore, we need to determine how many groups of 15 rand 14 can fit into 5,600 rand? So when we divide by 15 rand 14, we will determine the amount of dollars the phone will cost, and that will be $369.88. Example B. If the same phone can be bought for 326 euro, which option is cheaper? To answer this question, we need both our options in the same currency. In A, we already changed the Rand option to dollar, and now we need to change the Euro option to dollars. And for that, we're going to use our first exchange rate. In this exchange rate, one dollar is equal to only 87 cents in Euros. That means that the Euro is the stronger currency. In the second exchange rate, one dollar is equal to 15 rand 14, and that means that the dollar is a stronger currency than the rand. We want to know how many groups of 87 cents we can form out of 326, so we divide by the 87 cents, and that will give us 374.71. And this means that the option of 5,600 Rand will be the cheaper one. Question C. Determine the Euro to Rand exchange rate. We received two exchange rates comparing the dollar to two different currencies. Now we need to take those currencies and compare them. To do this, you need to realize that these two values are equal to each other because they are both compared to one dollar. So one dollar is equal to 0 0.87 euros, but one dollar is also equal to 15 rand and 14 cents. So now we can choose to only continue working with the 87 cents and the 15 rand 14 and simplify. To simplify this rate, we want a 1 euro on the left hand side 
And to do that, we need to divide the left-hand side by 0 0.87 because anything divided by itself is 1. And then, of course, whatever you do on the left, you will have to repeat on the right-hand side. So we also divide by 87 cents. This will give you 17 rand and 40 cents. And this means that the euro to rand exchange rate is 1 euro to 17 rand 40.